hi guys welcome back so in this lesson we will be going over the basic user interface as well as some of the basic tools uh, in order to create our illustration so when you open affinity designer you will get a window like this where you will be having options for uh, viewing some sample works as well as uh, watching some tutorials and uh, there is a button called uh, new document there you can actually create a new document and when you open that uh, you will get a separate window uh, where you will be able to open uh, presets which you have already created and saved or you have the option for uh, using uh, presets uh, which are already created uh, along with the software available along with the software uh, like a print ready then press ready photo things like that and uh, uh, if you want a custom design uh, you can always go to the side panel and where you can actually give uh, specific width and height in millimeters pixels based on your preference and uh, dots per inch also you can give after that uh, color format also you can select uh, then uh, bleeding margining area all that you can give specifically and create a custom page also so uh, for now we'll be just selecting an a4 page and once you create that it will be open like this and uh, uh, the way your user interface will be looking a little different and uh, that's uh, you can actually edit how all the panels are actually docked and all those things you can actually edit so uh, we'll start with that itself uh, you can see all the panels available panels in the view and in the studio panel in the studio menu uh, where you will be uh, getting all the available panels here and whichever one is active you will get a tick mark on the side so uh, if you want uh, a layer panel to be uh, disabled you can just select this layer menu and that particular panel will be disabled for now so uh, just like that you can actually make any of these panels visible or uh, hidden, uh, hidden uh, as per your requirement and in the user interface it's just like any other software at the top you will have some menus and the left side you have some tools and right side you have some panels panels are basic panels like color panel swatches stroke brush and uh, some effects panel and as well as our layer panel which we have actually hidden earlier so you can actually enable or uh, disable any panels you want uh, as per your requirement and uh, the next thing is tools when you come to tools you have some basic tools like uh, the first one is move tool uh, you can actually if you create some objects uh, you can use the move tool to move objects around and uh, the second one is artboard tool uh, we can actually create multiple artboards and uh, the third one is uh, node tool uh, you can use it to edit each of the points in a particular object and uh, one more thing you have to uh, remember is before you edit any shapes you have created basic shapes you have to make sure it's converted into curves otherwise you will not be able to edit the points so if you convert it into curves then you can actually edit each of the points and you can uh, curve the straight lines and you can edit each of the handles things like that so these things will be going over in detail uh, in the upcoming videos uh, so uh, just like that if you want to add any new points you can just hover over the line and uh, you can just click on the place you want to add the point and that point will be added after that you can actually customize the shape however you want if you click and drag uh, the straight lines will be curved and uh, the same way you can actually edit and uh, create custom shapes the next thing is uh, we have corner tool corner tool is for uh, editing the corners of a specific or uh, multiple objects uh, for example we just created this uh, shape and if you want these two corners to be rounded you can just select both of the points and using the corner tool and you can just click and drag and that selected points will be curved and in the curve tool itself you have some different options for that corners uh, for example uh, if you go to the top you will have some options for corner types one is normal uh, it will be the default and the second one is 
uh, rounded and then we have a concave it will be cutting inside uh, then we have a straight after that we have cut out things like that and once you are satisfied with the edit you have made and if you want that specific shape to be baked on to that shape then you can just bake the corners and that whatever changes we have made it will be baked on to that specific shapes and that shape will be customized and if you don't do that uh, you can actually always come back and forth and edit the values of that specific corners then we have pen tool uh, where you can actually create custom shapes other than the ones available uh, along with the software and then uh, we have a pencil tool uh, which have the same option uh, for creating shapes uh, the one uh, thing is uh, with the pen tool you can actually create uh, uh, custom shapes with a specific number of points uh, with the pencil tool uh, you will be creating shapes uh, like uh, freehand shapes and uh, that way the number of points will be different uh, you will not be able to control the number of points while you draw the uh, shapes and uh, then we have brush tool here also same tool uh, you can actually freehand create anything and uh, there also you will not be able to control the number of points you will be creating uh, it's actually similar to pencil tool itself then we have uh, some uh, fill tool uh, where you can actually fill the colors and maybe edit the gradient things like that and uh, that kind of things will be going over in detail in the upcoming videos then we have some basic shapes and one thing about uh, affinity designer is if you hover over any of the tools you will get a message below or you can if you select a specific tool you will get a message in the bottom where how you can actually use it so it's actually much more uh, useful uh, so it will be much easier for you to uh, learn how to use a specific tools and all so uh, you can go over each of the tools uh, and then uh, you can actually uh, create something interesting so in the upcoming classes we'll be going over in detail about all these tools and in the next lesson onwards we'll be start creating our illustration so i'll see you guys in the next video